Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. I am I and today I wanted to share some thoughts with you that I had after watching a video by Sebastian R. Keller. The video is called Three Ways to Treat Yourself Better, Coffee Talk Episode 2. I'm gonna link it in the description below. I want to talk about choices, chances and changes. There is a famous quote, you must make a choice to take a chance or your life will never change. The twist here that I keep on preaching <laughs> is everything is a choice, even not making a decision is a choice. Why, when do I say that? Whenever people listen to me. <laughs> How does these words, choices, chances, changes, um, impact your life and how can philosophy and spirituality guide us through this journey of transformation. Let's start with the foundation of it all, choice. Every single moment we're making choices, whether consciously or unconsciously. And like I said earlier, even not making a choice is a choice. You can choose to keep in the status quo and that's a valid choice as well. You just need to be aware of the consequences that holds and the choice to remain at the point in life where you are right now. Jean-Paul Sartre, the existential philosopher who said, we are our choices. He believed that our lives are defined by the decisions we make or don't make and that each choice reflects who we are and what we value. By choosing, we shape not only our circumstances, but also our very identity. It's easy to feel like certain things in life are out of our control. But when you look closer, you realize that the most powerful thing you can control is how you respond, how you choose to act or not to act with your surrounding or with another person. When you choose to stay in the comfort zone, when you choose to stay silent or when you choose to delay your dreams, you're actively shaping your reality. Ask yourself, what are the choices I'm making without even realizing it? What opportunities am I missing because I haven't been willing to take a chance? Why do we sometimes avoid making choices? Why do we let ourselves become stuck, afraid to take a step into any direction? One reason for that is fear, fear of failure, fear of making the wrong decision, fear of the unknown. Here's the thing, by avoiding the decision, you're still choosing to stay exactly where you are. The Greek philosopher Heraklitos famously said, the only constant in life is change. Whether we like it or not, change is inevitable. And when you don't actively make choices to shape your life, life will move forward without you and you will find yourself drifting with the current rather than steering your own course. If change is constant, why not be the one directing it? By stepping into the unknown, by choosing to take a chance, you reclaim your power over how your life unfolds. It's not about making perfect choices every time. It's about being brave enough to choose and trust that each decision will teach you something valuable. And once you make a choice, the next step is to take a chance. <laughs> what does it mean to take a chance? It means embracing uncertainty, stepping into a space where there are no guarantees, but also so many possibilities. Søren Kierkegaard called this the leap of faith. He believed that to live fully, we must be willing to take risks, to leap into the unknown and trust that something meaningful awaits us, even if we can't see it yet. Taking a chance is about letting go of the need for certainty and trusting that the act of moving forwards is enough to spark change. Life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards, Søren Kierkegaard. 
that is a very powerful thought to hold on to. And you might not understand the importance of the chance you take right now, but looking back, you will see how every decision connected to create the life you're living. And that quote also tells you to not beat yourself up over the decisions you make, because it can be understood backwards. Yes, but you did the best at the point in time with the information you had at that point in time. With that decision, then there's change. True transformation, whether it's in your personal life, career or spiritual journey, requires stepping out of the familiar. The moment you make a choice and you take a chance, you've set change into motion. It's like planting a seed. You won't see results immediately, but beneath the surface, things are shifting, growing and preparing to bloom. The ancient philosopher Car Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Change is inevitable, but how you engage with it is what defines the outcome. By embracing change instead of resisting it, you open yourself to possibilities you might never have imagined. Here's where it gets real. Change is rarely comfortable. <laughs> but discomfort is the catalyst for growth. When you take a chance, you might stumble, you might face obstacles, but in those moments you're building resilience. And that's where true transformation happens. Every time you choose to take a chance, you're moving closer to becoming the person you want to be. And as I opened the video with, one of the most important things to understand is that not choosing is still a choice. By staying where we are, by not making a decision, you're choosing to accept the current circumstances of your life. That is perfectly valid, that is perfectly fine, if that's what you truly want. If you are seeking change, if you're longing for something different, if you have a restlessness in your life, you need to recognize that inaction is keeping you stuck. This idea is captured by Albert Camus, who wrote, life is the sum of all your choices. Every day, whether we are conscious of it or not, we are writing the story of our lives through the choices we make or don't make. The more we delay or avoid those decisions, the more we're letting life pass by us. So if you are feeling stuck right now, ask yourself, what choices have I been avoiding? What chances have I been afraid to take? And what would happen if I decide to act even in the smallest way? Because even a small step forward is a choice and every choice creates momentum. You might now be wondering, how do I apply this in my personal life? How do I start embracing choices, chances and changes? It starts with awareness. Take time to reflect on the choices you're already making, both consciously and unconsciously. Identify the areas where you've been avoiding decisions and ask yourself why. And then commit to making small choices that moves you forward. It doesn't have to be big, it doesn't have to be a grand gesture. It could be something simple like deciding to focus on a new habit, reaching out to someone you have been meaning to connect with or taking a risk on something that excites you. The key is to act. For example, I did something very untypical for myself um, and I'm so happy that I did that. I met um, an obstetrician back in May when I got my new glasses. We had some small talk back and forth and there was a joke in the decision like, oh man, you do so many nice things. Um, I wish we could do some together. Uh, the obstetrician said um, they are not this long in the city I'm living in. And then I was like, we can totally do that. And um, now we are friends. <laughs> it was something way out of my comfort zone. I do not like talking to strangers. I usually take my sweet time to let someone into my life, but I felt immediately connected with them. And I was like, sure, let's take a leap of faith here. <laughs> what, what's the worst that can happen? That we get a coffee and do not connect with each other. That's also fine. Remember, your life is the sum of your choices and not choosing is still a choice. Why not choose to take a chance? Why not choose to embrace change? Because the life you dream of is waiting on the other side of the choice.
It's within your power to create the change you want, but you have to take that first step. And if you need a nudge into one or two directions, my tarot readings might help you. Uh, you find everything in the description below. If you found anything in this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content on spiritual growth, personal growth, guided meditations, ASMR. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.